What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Patrick McCormick, and today it's triple upload, nah, And today we're reacting to the third true Snapchat story animated. I don't know what this is about, but hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. Let's get to it. This happened a week ago. Up until a few days ago, I went to a small, local gym in my now previous New Jersey town called Black Bear Fitness. One day, I had the misfortune of running into some skinny, awkward, yet creepy looking kid, probably 18 years old. He didn't look like he belonged in a gym at all. I had headphones in and I was doing my set when I heard him saying something to me, but it was muffled by the music. I was already annoyed with this kid, given that he was breaking an unwritten rule of the gym. Don't try to talk to somebody when they're doing their sets. I took my time finishing my set, and then took my headphones out to ask if he needed something. Then he started acting like I looked familiar, but right away I knew this kid was just trying some pathetic attempt at making friends. I assured him I didn't, but the kid wouldn't stop talking to me. I'll skip most of the conversation, but eventually he actually asked me for my Instagram and Snapchat, weirdly enough, and for whatever reason I gave them to him. Instead of just saying something like, buddy, I'm trying to work out, or I don't have social media. After I gave him my Snapchat and Instagram, however, I did kind of urge him to let me resume my workout. He finally seemed to get the message and walked away. Not without saying bye like three times though. That night I got a snap on my phone saying from Sean. I immediately sighed and said, oh no. Just wondering why the hell the kid would snap me. I opened the snap, and the kid was in a creepy. What? Who sent pictures of, to a guy? That's a guy. What? Looks weird, dude. Mm -mm, I, I, I'm not with that. I, 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 I'm right. I'm not. Woo, 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 woo. All right, just get back. Weird pose, face way too close to the camera, with his head resting in his hand and a half smile on his face. The text over the picture was "Hey" with two Y's. No, whoever texted "Hey" with a with two Y's, that's straight. Yeah, I know what I'm about to say, right? All right. I muttered the words, "What the." For the record, I'm a guy, which made this even more weird. Exactly. My thought process was, I've had enough of this loser already. I'm gonna remove him and make it clear I don't want to talk if I see him at the gym again. And so I did. I removed him minutes after he sent that snap. Nice. I'm sure not even a minute later, again, a message popped up on my phone saying Snapchat from Sean. I, thought you I waited a few minutes before oh. opening it. This one was even creepier. Now the kid was sitting up on his bed, no smile, more of a surprised, angry expression. The text over the image said, Why did you remove me? Now I went as far as to block him, meaning he couldn't snap me anymore. And that was that. I threw my phone on the desk and sighed out of relief. Half an hour later, my phone goes off saying Sean added you as a friend, he and then Snapchat account. from Sean. He actually made a new account. I opened the snap and felt my heart drop. He's in front of your it house. was a picture of my front lawn. The text over it, answer me, bitch. The first thing I could think of was, how did he find my address? Then I realized, Snapchat made that new map feature that lets you see where your friends are. That's stupid. Somehow, I had the balls to open the window to see outside. It was clear out there. I shut the window and the blinds and started considering calling 911. Nah. Oh, you better smash. It was the sound of taps on the window. I took a deep breath and with one swift motion, I pulled up the blind and the window at the same time and pulled the kid into my room by his neck. Oh. I punched him in the face of... Oh, to just 
This guy looks scary and horrifying. You have the balls to, mm, to grab this mother trucker and then oh you times before he was out cold. Now I called 911. By the time they arrived, he was awake, cursing me out, promising he'd be back and kill me. Uh, whatever. The cops heard it all. I didn't even have to make a case. The kid was an idiot. Luckily, the timing of this worked out well, because I just moved a couple days ago out of state. Oh, Only thing that worries me, I don't want to have to make a new Snapchat account, but anytime somebody new adds me on the app, I'll never know if it's secretly that Sean kid again. YouTube, subscribe, like, hit that like button, and share with others. Please. That looks so wrong. Uh uh. Don't think of it that way. No, don't think of it that way.